Oh no, Pansy, did you have any mouse? Ollie, what are you doing? To say about how plants get their food because they have any mouse. Oh, okay, they get their food through photosynthesis. Photo what? Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, it's not about having some photos. No, it's about how trees and plants make their food for the, from the energy they receive from the sun. And I know the perfect place we can talk about this. Come on. Photosynthesis. Do you know what it is? Hopefully by the end of this video you have a better idea and a deeper respect for plant life. Basically, photosynthesis is the process trees and plants use to make their own food. The process they use to turn light energy into chemical energy. Using photosynthesis they turn light, carbon dioxide and water into glucose which is their food and oxygen which is a waste product. But how do they get these things? Most plants get the energy they need directly from the sun. Plants breathe in carbon dioxide from the air around them, just like we breathe in oxygen. They do this through tiny holes called stomates. When they breathe in carbon dioxide, they breathe out oxygen, which is the complete opposite to us. Trees and plants are a major source of the oxygen in our atmosphere. Without them, we would not be able to exist. So, trees and plants help to keep us alive. They get the water they need from either rainfall or from people watering them. They absorb this water through their roots. Photosynthesis takes place in the leaves of trees and plants. These leaves are made up of very small cells and inside these cells are very tiny structures called chloroplasts. These chloroplasts contain a chemical called chlorophyll. It's the chlorophyll that gives leaves their green colour. Chlorophyll reflects green light and absorbs red and blue light, which is why most leaves look green. Watch our science vlog on light and the electromagnetic spectrum to learn more. The chlorophyll absorbs the light energy from the sun and then the energy is then stored inside the plant in a chemical called adenosine triphosphate, or simply ATP. The plants use the energy stored in ATP to split water absorbed by the plant's roots into hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen is released by the leaves into the atmosphere as a waste product and the hydrogen is used with the carbon dioxide to form glucose. So this glucose is used by the plants for growth and development. But the rest is then stored in the plant's leaves Roots and fruits for use later on. Hey, that rhymes. So, we have learned that plants need carbon dioxide, water and light to make their own food. And this food is in the form of glucose. Plants produce oxygen as a waste product. And they do all of this through the process of photosynthesis. This process can be written easily as an equation. Carbon dioxide, water and light produces glucose and oxygen. All of the food we as humans eat would not exist without photosynthesis. Just think about that for a minute. 
Photosynthesis makes it possible for us to eat apples, oranges, potatoes, cabbage, and make the food needed for animals to eat, which in turn makes it possible for us to eat beef, chicken, and turkey, among many others. Even the air we breathe every day probably wouldn't exist without photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is mandatory for life on Earth. We could not survive without it. Thanks for watching our science vlog on photosynthesis. If you've enjoyed this video, can you leave a like down below? And if you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button!